Hi there, Jenny Stevens here. So this training video, I want to show you how you can create some tabs on your Facebook business page. And this can connect to other social media platforms, or you can even choose your own custom URL if you want to send somebody to maybe your blog or to a capture page to get on your email list or maybe to a product page or something. So it's quite straightforward. I'm going to share my screen and just show you step by step how you can set this up. So just bear with me and I will share my screen. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when you've done some tabs. So on this is only valid for a fan page, a business page. You can't do this for a personal profile. Um, but if you, this is, and again, this is on desktop. So if I scroll down here, on my page you can see here on the right I've got this apps section and now you can have three um, apps that you want to send people over to so you can see here I've connected to YouTube Pinterest and then I've created a custom URL so this actually goes across to a capture page where people can opt in for my free attraction marketing bootcamp um, and you can do this for any site that you want to do. So this is a really great way of either just adding, you know, some extra extra channels to your Facebook page. So a great way if you've got a YouTube channel, it's a great way to get people to see those videos. And the same for Pinterest. And you can do whatever you want. You can have Instagram, Twitter, and I'll show you this all from the site that I use. So the website that you want to... Um, or that I've used anyway, this was kind of how I learned, is a site called Woobox. So I've got that up here. So it's W-O-O-B-O-X.com. I'll pop a link in the description for you so you can then pop across and create an account. This is a free website, so you don't need to pay anything just for the apps that we're going to use. Um, there are upgrade um, options available to you, so I'll talk through a little bit of that, but I just have a free account, um, and it's, it's great. There's some other things that this website can do, and I'll do a separate video on some of these, but you know, you can do things like um, contests, you can do polls, you can do rewards, all sorts, so that this is a really great website to use. But I mostly just use this for my apps. So once you've actually registered and you can connect it via Facebook, and then once you've um, connected via Facebook, you can then connect your business pages. So if I just move my little screenshot out of the way. Um, so and you can have multiple business pages. So if you've got different business pages for different businesses, then you can just use the one account and you can see um, here I've got two. So I've got a network marketing company, which is um, makeup. And then I've got my coaching business where I share training on online marketing. So I've got two different business pages. So they're both there. So go ahead and set up your free account. And then once you've done that, the, the, the element that we want to be focusing on today is this static tabs. You can see on this top toolbar, we've got static tabs. So when I click on that, then I'll walk you through just, it's really straightforward. It's really simple to do. So here are the three tabs that I've set up. So as I said, you can see here that I've connected YouTube, Pinterest, and then I've got my custom one. But to create a new tab, it's really simple. Um, let's just move that out of the way. So you just go create new tab and you can see here the different options that this website gives you. So you've got YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and then this HTML fan gate tab is then our custom one. So I'll go through that in a second. So let's just start off by doing another Pinterest one. So you just click on Pinterest and then here it basically, all you need to do is get your Pinterest username. So if you go and get, We'll get Pinterest up. So to get your username, you just need to be onto your profile. So just click on my profile, that doesn't automatically go there. Click on the URL at the top here, and then you just want to take that last bit. So that's my URL, uh, my username, sorry. And then you just paste that after, because it's already got the Pinterest.com, you just paste your username after that. Now, the other great thing is you can actually specify whether you want to show all boards or a specific board. So if you 
you know, like I've got kind of a bit of array of lots of different things, but if you wanted to just show one particular board that was relevant for that, um, that link, then you can choose that. So that's really great. Um, just again, just to specify. Um, and yeah, so you just choose which one you do. So I'll just do show all for now. Um, unfortunately, mobile, so the mobile um, version of the tabs is paid. So that is for the upgrade, unfortunately. So I just have this as the free one, um, which is for desktop only. Um, so then you just hit save and that's all you need to do. So then if you go across to your Facebook business page, so I'll just refresh that. Um, so this on the left hand side is where you've got all of your different tabs. So you can see here it says manage tabs. Um, so if you click on that, then you can reorder them. So you can put them in the order that you want them to be. So I have um, photos, videos, YouTube. Uh, actually, I'm going to move some of these up. But yeah, so you can just, you can move them around, which is great. You just, you just pick it up and you just drag it up, which is great. So that Pinterest one is my new one there. Um, and then that's all you do. You just move them around. Jobs are good in. I don't even think it's not even got a save thing. And then we'll just go back to our page and then I'll show you what it looks like once you've connected it. So for this example with Pinterest, if we just click on Pinterest, it will open a view inside of Facebook. So this is brilliant. You're keeping everybody in Facebook, but they can see your Pinterest board. So here's my Pinterest boards and they can even then go into that board um, straight from Facebook, see your pins, and then they can even, if they've got the pin it, um, what's it called, the pin it extension, they can even pin straight from Facebook and they can pin it onto their board. This is brilliant. It's a really great way of just getting some extra exposure. Um, if you're building up your audience um, on Facebook and you might be getting into the thousands of fans, brilliant, you know, send people over to this tab and then they can go and pin stuff straight to their board that they want to do. So that's brilliant. So that's the Pinterest one. And the same with YouTube. So YouTube, again, it will open up your channel um and it will then show your videos that you've got in your youtube channel so again another great way of just getting some extra exposure to your different channels um yes and that's so that's great so the other things that um you can do so let's just go back to our tabs so i'm just going to I'll delete that in a minute. Um, so yeah, you've got Pinterest, YouTube, and then you've got Twitter and Instagram. So Instagram, again, that will just show up a bit like Pinterest. It will show up all your different pin, um, all your different Instagram photos. So great if you've got a, you know, quite a visual business. Brilliant for showing that. Um, Twitter, I don't really use Twitter very much. So I'm not actually entirely sure what it looks like, but I would have thought it would maybe show up your different tweets. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I don't actually use Twitter at the moment. Um, I just sort of stick to just a couple of social media platforms at the moment while I'm growing my business. Um, so those are the kind of standard ones. Then the, then the other great thing is that you can do your custom one. And so that's this HTML fan gate tab. So this you can use for anything you want. So if you wanted to send people to, so like if you're in network marketing, if you wanted to send them across to shop now, um, you could then put in your company replicator website um, ID and then send them across to that. Or if you wanted to go and send them to people, maybe if they were interested in joining your team, you could then go across to that relevant content. Or if you had a blog, you could send them to your blog. Or if you've got a capture page and you want to get people onto your email list, um, you can do that. So there's just, you can basically just anything, any kind of link that you want. And this is great and it really just helps get people to you know to to do what you're wanting to do so the one that i've created <clears throat> so i have a free 10-day attraction marketing boot camp 
Um, now I've just created this little icon so you can customize those. So these pin, the sort of standard ones, it comes in automatically, which is great. Um, if you want to change those and you can just do your own little image. Um, so let's just go into that tab and I can show you what um, we do. So, so you've got your link to where you want them to go. So as I say, if you want to send it to a capture page or if you want to send it to a blog or your website, whatever you want to do, just pop in your link there. There is an option that you can, your, for people to be able to see that content, they have to like the page. So you've got um, subscribe gate. So visitors will have to join your subscribers list using their name and email address to view your content or um, visitors will be asked if they want to like your page. So basically it will come up with a big thumb and say like, like this page. And then once they've liked it, it will open up that content. So another great way of kind of having a bit of scarcity and getting some extra likes for your Facebook fan page. So just choose which one you want to do um, for that. And then, um, or if you wanted to have maybe an image. So if they clicked on that tab, you can then choose an image potentially um, to show rather than you know like for pinterest it shows the different boards if you want to have an image so maybe you want to show some results pictures or maybe you want to um create almost like an image version of a capture page whatever you want to do you've got this image button there and again you can choose an image to upload um so that's that so if you want to create your own icon so that's where you put in your links and choose kind of the settings if you go to up on the left here you've got tab settings so here you can um customize that view so let's just go back to facebook a second so we can see here um on that tab so I've got this little icon. So it says free attraction marketing bootcamp, click here. Oh, that's a little bit small. I might change that. Um, so yeah, so you can just do whatever you want. It tells you the size to be. So you can go across to canva.com. That's a great free website you can create there. That's where I do all of my artwork. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can just go and create your bit of artwork or you can use an app on your phone that's what i started to do when i very first started and then just upload that image and then you can give it a name and that's what it will be called um here so whatever you wanted to say and then you just save and it's as simple as that it's really great so you know for i've for my network marketing company i've got a um order today you know just a really simple just plain block with order today um, and then I've got interested in joining. So it's a really great way again, just to kind of prompt people to maybe just start, just look around and you can just send them across to um, where you want them to go. So it's a really great free way of just getting some extra um, exposure to your different uh, sites or to get people to either shop, um, join your email list, whatever it is that you're wanting to do. So hopefully that's helped to say, unfortunately you can only have three. So just pick you know, the best ones or you can kind of move them around and you can change the ones that you want. Um, hopefully that's helped. And if you've got any questions at all, then feel free to pop across to my business page. It's Jenny Stevens UK. That's my uh, username and send me a message or you can send me an email. Um, I'll pop that in the description below. Uh, and hopefully that has helped. So yes, if you've got any questions at all, happy to help and good luck with your tabs. I'll take care and I'll see you on the next training video. Bye.